Yes, <laughs> it is. Honestly, it's really me. It's Alex. Okay, not his, uh, <laughs> not his clean shaven twin. Oh my God, guys, what have I done? I've um, almost got divorced. My, I decided just a couple of days ago I'll, I'll take this off because, uh, you know, change is as good as a rest. Oh my goodness, Michelle walked into the into the house and I'd forgotten I'd shaved. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, what have you done? Right, oh, uh, you need to, <laughs> you look really pale. You look really, I don't like, I don't like, it's not What have you done? I don't like it. Um, you look really pale. You really need to put some self tan on. Oh God, my, my jaw dropped. So, <laughs> I, um, I can't wear a false beard, guys, can I? I'll have to wait until it grows. So, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll be doing that again in a hurry. Oh my goodness me, she uh, gave me a hard time. So, guys, if you want to get divorced <laughs> quickly, shave your beard off. Um, I don't like it myself, to be honest. Um, it's funny, just come out of this just come out of swimming now, it's uh, Saturday lunchtime, and the kids were like, Alex, you look different. And I went, yeah, why don't you go, oh, we look, you look really nice. I was like, I don't think so, kids, I think I look terrible. But uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it, it's been a funny couple of days. Um, even Alex, on, we were doing FaceTime, he was like, Dad, you look different, what are you doing? So, I was arguing with Shell about the fact that this is how I looked all the time. If you look at all my before pictures, I did have, uh, obviously I had, the, I had the big bowling ball face, but I didn't have any, any beard. And, um, <laughs> oh God, I keep, I keep looking at this, I'm looking at myself talking now, talking to myself, and I'm thinking to myself, what have I done? Anyway, so an, an old saying I heard was, enough of me talking about me, what do you think about me? And that, that's not the purpose of the video. It's, guys, put down in the comments what you think. Uh, but don't unsubscribe, don't do that. <laughs> um, definitely in ketosis again, I'm just feeling in such a giggly, energetic mood. Ketosis to me is like, have you ever seen the Duracell TV commercial, uh, which proves I do watch TV sometimes, uh, where the uh, Duracell bunny had, um, I think the other toys will run out. That's how I used to be, I used to just run out of energy. Uh, didn't have much energy, but that's how it was. And then you see, the, I think it's the Duracell bunny coming along, isn't it, or, or whatever. And I think to myself, that's what ketosis is like. It's put the brand new Duracells in, and uh, ta -da, it's just all of a sudden, like, you, you, you feel on fire. I just, anyway, so I'm gonna go to Stanton's now and get some, some eggs. And the girls on there will go, yes, who are you? Uh, this, yeah, this video is more for subscribers and viewers who have uh, been supporting the channel. Guys, thanks very much. I, I think I'm on foot. I think my subs now is about 3,471, which is just mind-boggling for me. It's just unbelievable. Uh, I think what it does as well, it gives you a little bit of a responsibility. And as I said, the, the, the channel was all about accountability and to myself and also to you know get on that platform and use this as a as my soapbox and it certainly has worked and that's what motivates me probably more than just my self-motivation but guys thanks very much for all your support and all the amazing amazing comments uh i will never be giving this up I, well when i say giving i don't i'll never be giving the diet so it's just unless there's something out there which is unbelievably better i just don't think i'll ever change uh, I still think maybe because we're human beings, uh, we're, we're homo sapiens, that we need that variety because maybe it's something to do with our brains. But uh, I, every time I get probably, oh, I'm getting a bit fed up with this now, I always think about my whys. I think about how I looked, how I felt, the things I wouldn't, didn't want to do. Um, you know, my victim, my victim Meldrew status, my, my profile, you know, I know it. I look back and we talk, Michelle, and I think it did affect our relationship to a point. I mean, I just didn't want to do anything. Now imagine that. Imagine when you, your partner suddenly just doesn't want to do anything anymore. That's not fair, is it? And so I, I, um, I actually confess all this on the videos again because if I ever watch them back, I sit there and I go, yeah, yeah, you were a, can I say, you were a dick. As we say in this country, you were a dick. And 
I just can't go back to the way I was. Um, I mean, I probably make myself sound as if I was, uh, you know, a real, real shit. But I wasn't. I was just like, I was just um, probably just deterred. Not, I was probably just going backwards. I was just not being as energetic, not enthusiastic. Um, and with hindsight, I think my diet was was the main hurdle. Or, 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 I think my diet was the main problem all those years. You know, I've, I've been digging out on uh, Google Photos lately, all my old photographs of the food. I, used to, I was quite a decent cook. Um, obviously, I was the family cook, and uh, I used to cook. I used to cook uh, Christmas Day meals for sixteen of us in the family when we used to have family. I used to do it all with Shell's help, and then we would take all the food round to the to uh, our Ruth's house. I loved doing it, but the sweat and the effort. Once I'd done it all, and I sat down to have my my Christmas Day lunch, uh, my Christmas Day dinner, I didn't want it. I was too busy thinking, shall I have a glass of wine? Shall I have some Carver or Prosecco? can't do that anymore guys I just can't do it I've got to really move on and just strive to being does this sound corny the best me I can be you know Alex is 23 he's just started off in London I want to support him so much he's just doing unbelievable our Sophie's 32 she's just my princess and uh, I want her to be I want to be young I want to be young in my mind and obviously in my body when she's older as well I mean if she starts a family which I'm hoping she will you know and if that whatever Alex does you know I don't want to be always the old granddad in the corner <laughs> you know having his having his cup of tea brought to him and his cakes and you know passing the newspaper and moaning but just sitting there watching tv oh what a, that's not life is it I don't want to be doing that and then you know when I think back on my families as well, what they used to be like, that's how the granddads and the grandmas used to be. They'd all be smoking, they'd probably be drinking too much stout or Guinness or whatever. That's some of my memories. And I think to myself, it's probably years ago I did think that's what we, that's inevitability, that's the inevitability of, of being an older person. But no way, not, not today. I just think, yeah, as Maggie White says, the Canadian rancher, I'm just getting started. And I truly believe that, you know, it's... Uh, I'm rambling now, but I'm, I'm going to carry on. And Ken Berry said when Kerry Mann showed him my photograph, he went, wow, you know, hold on a second. Alex is not looking good for 65. He is looking the way a typical 65, you know, should look. And I was like, yes, that's what I want to hear. And, you know, I was blessed that he thought I was <laughs> half my age, which uh, I just wonder what he'd think if he'd tell me without my beard. But I, I've got that now here heart and in my head you know Maggie White said I'm just getting started and I I, I, I want to get that message out to people we are just getting started those guys in our 50s 60s and 70s stop think about what you're doing you know are we going up the hill are we going down it you know I used to be sliding down it fast now I'm really working hard getting up that hill getting stronger and stronger and you know, I am carnival for life did that sound a bit corny Anyway, guys, so I'm going to go to Stanton's now, get some more eggs, get some bacon. We've got loads of uh, steak in the freezer. Alex is not living with us anymore, so guess what? The, fr the freezer's still full. <laughs> so, guys, um, I'm sticking my neck out here. I'm sticking my neck out. Uh, put some comments in the box below. In the box below. Tell me what you think about my new look. It um, hasn't gone down well at home, and uh, it's not going to be lasting <laughs> It's not going to be lasting long. If I get lots of subs unsubbing, I'll be gutted because, as I say, I am thriving on, on the actual channel. But, you know, guys, <laughs> tell you what, tell me what you think. Um, I say I haven't been naked on the face for quite a few years and uh, it is weird. All right, I'll finish it there, guys, because uh, I'm going on and on about myself and people will be going, oh, he's not talking about himself again. <laughs> Wherever you are, have a great day. Have a great night. And thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you.